Let's talk about uh, let's talk about meteors because we had a, a near miss, didn't we? Did. We, we had day. three, three of them. We had yeah. three near misses really in just a few me. days. The Good. We... You need to. Be... No, it's not that scary. <laughs> actually. So uh, yes, yeah, so on the sixth of March, we had uh, an asteroid called 2014 EC. Mm. Wonderful name. That passed. I think it was 40,000 miles of the Earth, which is between us and the Moon. That's actually really close. Is this quite common? It's more common than people realise because, you know, the space is a big place. Yeah. Um, there's about a quarter of a million miles between us and the moon. Yeah. So actually we do quite often get pieces of rock flying past us. We're quite small though by comparison, so the chance of something actually hitting us is quite remote. Well, the, We've got to find them. The difference with that one though is it, it was discovered very late. It was discovered the day before. Now, for now us that to be able concerns to, me that slightly, concerns me quite a lot as well, for <laughs> Well, they are if you can find them, but, you know, the sky's dark. These things are quite dark to look at in the sky, so they're hard to find. The earlier we can find them, the best chance we've got of working out where it's going and if it's going to hit us. So we discovered it the day before. It would be a close call whether it's going to hit us or not. And what, if it is about to suddenly plummet straight on us, Yeah. we've had it. Not a lot we can do about it at the moment. The sooner we know, if, if we know about it years in advance, we could conceivably try and do some kind of Bruce Willis-style rescue yeah. um, to try and change its course, perhaps. But at the moment, we haven't we really got the technology to do anything well, about it. Well, the Chernobylsk uh, that one, meteor, in that Russia. one in Russia, that that was really for them yeah. extraordinary because it was over phenomenal. such a highly populated area. It's like have a movie. But that was about 10,000 tonnes that hit the top of the atmosphere. It exploded on the way down. We think it was actually part of a comet, so it had lots of water in it. Majority of that got destroyed in the atmosphere. But I've got a piece of it just here. Um, wow. Oh, have a, you? This is a tiny remnant. That's a bit of it. That's a bit of it that was found in Russia. What's that made up of? Is that just rock, rock. and stuff? It's, it's rock. You know, it's, it's kind of rocks that we do find on Earth. Um, but that was the reason we can find them so easy is because it's dark and in Russia it's snowy. So they sit out like, like oh, a I sore see. thumb. They're really easy to find. But that thing was going at 42,900 yeah. miles an hour, 60 <laughs> times the speed of sound. It was brighter than... So, so, so something just oh, come from the road. It's just landed. Go and get it, someone. It's expensive. <laughs> are um, they expensive? Some of them are. Yeah, are absolutely. They? Yeah, yeah. The more rare ones cost thousands of pounds. Really? There was a case of someone actually found one uh, in, a, in a stone wall. You can find them through the magnetic properties. And someone found one in a stone wall and they actually retired off the proceeds of selling it. <gasps> They're not all that expensive, so, you know, you can... Well, just talk, it, talk us through the, this one, because this, this that, that must have been so, huge when it This would have been a through. huge chunk when it came through. This is an iron and nickel meter. I should feel the weight of that. That, that would have been travelling. 50 about 50 miles per second. That's really heavy. When it That's hit, really hit the atmosphere. heavy. And if that hit you, there's actually a case of a cow that was killed by a meteorite. I don't know what I'm spying for. It's quite sad, isn't it? Poor thing. Poor but cow. But there's actually a case of a Literally. cow that's been hit by a meteorite. But no, no human being has ever been no. hit on the head by one of these. No. Fortunately and not. This is a tiny little speck. I mean, so, yeah, you've so done well to find that. So, well, this was actually um, a piece of Mars. So a piece of Mars? A tiny, tiny piece of Mars. Now, we Can I pick it up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just don't drop it or never find it again. Oh, my goodness. No. The pressure. <laughs> no. I've probably got a piece of Mars floating around my handbag, but it's not like this. You wouldn't know. The, the way we know <laughs> that it came from Mars... Are you talking about chocolate bars? Yes. I might be. Of course, there are many other different chocolate bars available. Um, now, Mark, we know that came from Mars because there are tiny pockets of gas inside the rock which yep. match the composition of the gas in the atmosphere of Mars. So wow. we know that that piece of rock came from Mars. Amazing. So, so something hit Mars put it back, so, yeah. and a big bit flew off. Absolutely. It eventually found its way to the Earth, and here it is. 